This is the HP Z4 G4, and it has an older Quadro GPU in it. And we're gonna give this a little bit of an upgrade with the Gigabyte 1660 OC, and this is going to be an entirely toolless removal and installation. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get the machine on its side and pop the casing right here, pull up and out. Inside, we can see a whole bunch of space in here, space for our drive bays, these are our GPU power cables. We have our cooler shroud and RAM CPU, everything's under here, we're just gonna lift this and take a look. All of that in there, beautiful. Let's slot this back in, but we're here to remove the GPU. In here, we have the four gigabyte Quadro M2000. Really good card in workstations, especially for its time, but we're converting this machine into a gaming rig, so this has got to go. On the back, you're gonna to wanna to pop your two blue clips until they face down. And then we are gonna to want to lift that blue tab and pull up on our GPU. We're gonna push that tab and lift up until the entire GPU comes out. And we're actually going to repurpose this and use this in another video to benchmark what you can do gaming-wise with these older cards. But now it's time to put in our new GPU. This Gigabyte 1660 OC is a six gig card and is by no means the best card for gaming. However, paired with an older CPU like this, it is still gonna give us some pretty good results and is going to do much better than that Quadro card. We're gonna make sure that our cover shroud is pulled out again. We're going to pull off our PCIe cover and using our top cover, which is only a PCIe Gen 3 slot, but it's still fine for this model, we are going to slot in this card until we hear a light click. And then we're going to slot our cover into place. This officially locks our card into place and now we get to work on power. This GTX card requires an eight pin power connector. However, this Z4 G4 only provides two six pin connectors and these are stored down here. They're not powering anything. It's just a cable management location. And while you technically can power an eight pin card with a six pin connector, it does slot in here just like so. Your card is not going to run at full power and is going to have some stability issues. But what you can do is buy one of these adapters that takes your two six pin connectors and turns them into one fully powered eight pin connector. And that's what we're gonna do with this card. And then we're going to take our eight pin and slot it in right there. And then we can slide our cover back on. And then all that's left to do is update the drivers and check for stability. 